Every fortnight from 1.30 to 3 o'clock, every second Thursday, the ladies really look forward to go out on that day to play tombola. 25. Yeah, we had a lot of families that were lonely in the farm. Yeah, but most of all, uh, now when the tobacco finished, that was the worst part of it, that uh, it was such a uh, sort of destroyed, destroyed the families and uh, the families that were grew, grow, grew up in that farm and now they can't stay there anymore, they haven't got anything to do. 51. <laughs> 14, 42, 44. And this nun used to go around the farms and got these elderly ladies and said to come around. And in the first day we had a, we had a dinner dance and invited all these uh, families to come along at the club. And then after that was formed the group, our group. And I, I thought really wonderful for the the Italian community to get together and uh, and play this tombola. Cinque. Cinquantasette. Rosa. The tobacco was really hard work in growing up the kids. We came out to Australia, my father was already here and I came out to Australia in 1937 and uh, me my mother and my three brothers came out here and we stayed at the farm in Wally's Lane. Yeah, but at once there were a lot of um, Italians, uh, Spanish people that were here on the tobacco and Yugoslav people used to employ them on the tobacco. There were a whole lot of people around Maddleford. At those times there, there was the only thing that uh, the Italians could uh, do, stay on the farm, because there wasn't any other work around to. Like my father used to work on the railways before we came out. Then he ended up here in Myrtleford on the farm and uh, 
got onto the tobacco. My father used to drive these horses with tobacco planter and the two men planting the tobacco. Uh, it was so interesting once. With, uh, I used to look after these draft horses at the farm and then the tractors came out so we used to use a tractor. Well, I'm there with the big hat. There's my husband. There's my cousin. She's first cousin of mine. That's her son. The women used to do all kinds of work on the tobacco. Hoeing with the hoe. We used to have a hoe and hoe it and heal, heal the tobacco up. And my father, he loved it out here. But my mother got a bit, he, she was a bit <laughs> upset about it. But then she took it on because all the family were uh, together here. You no, know, my father was went around and he travelled around so he could speak English. But my mother, she never learned. She never learned it because she didn't go out anywhere. She was at the farm. That's why we sort of organised this group. I was there when when the nuns started going, started this uh, the Savoy ladies. So I was in it nearly all, in the beginning. I was there all the time. And there it was really good fun with the ladies. We had really played tombola and. Uh, we celebrated, every year we celebrated our birthdays. It was really um, important for the elderly ladies that came out from the farm. We used to go and pick them up with the community bus. And the daughters used to bring their mothers in. Now their, their mothers had passed away, but the daughters still come to, to the group. Every year we used to organise um, a play. We did the, the tobacco play. Here, this lady, they tie up tobacco. And uh, so we'll have to get going and uh, organise some more plays for the future years. And then I know some boss, he was very bossy. Very rich too, because he had a rich line. Yes, <laughs> my wife it was very rich, <laughs> very spoiled. You spoil me. Yes, sir. <laughs> anyway, I play... Uh, uh, Savoy Club ladies, um, uh, it's, um, it's a sort of a get-together, and uh, we're looking forward to go that, that day there to play tombola. And once the ladies get there, there's so much noise that you can't hear each other. There are women in the room, we never keep silence. Quiet. We never Quiet. keep silence. That's for sure. Because <laughs> every time somebody say, I, I go tombola, everybody say, I went for this number, I went for this number, I needed this number, I needed this number. Is there a I just <laughs> And yet when yeah, Anna and I are not, playing cards, in the and we say one little word, everyone's... Shh! Yeah. <laughs> Good on you, Kai. Yeah. Silencio. And then we're trying to concentrate, and they're yapping and carrying on in between yeah, your legs. Yeah, we don't yeah, say that. You've got to get her far, far away from us. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, that's uh, life of the uh, Savoy ladies.